what's going on guys welcome back to my channel it's taylor aka duchess and before we do anything i like to pray before we get into a video so if you bow your heads lord we thank you for allowing us to live another day go another day through life lord we ask you that whatever is on our hearts whatever's on our minds you take care of it we know that you have a plan for us we relinquish it all to you lord i have faith in you and ask that you continue to guide us through the right footsteps and bring us closer every day to where you want us to be and help us feel your love and feel your strength when we're feeling down and feel like we're not getting closer to our goals or the places that we know you want us to be lord in jesus name we trust in you amen okay so we are going to go ahead and get into the content so today we are going to be unboxing the brighton star what? ultra wide camera lens and so this is the lens we have right here and so in the last unboxing video we unboxed the sony zve 10 and so with the specific kit i got it came with the body of the camera but it did not come with the lens so we have the cap right here and this is the part where the lens is supposed to go so if you've been looking at my video that i just posted the welcome video um, for my gaming channel with you guys this um was not used to record it because i did not have the lens yet but we finally got it so i'm going to unbox it for you guys and i'm going to skip the part where i try and fight for my life with taking this plastic off so let's go ahead and get into it okay so we've now gotten it out of the plastic so let's go ahead and take it out okay Make sure I'm not dropping anything. Okay, so this is the little box that it comes in. Okay, and let's go. It actually has a little tab to pull this out, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. Oh, okay, so the first thing that comes out is this little card, and I'm gonna be real with y'all, it's in this language that I can't read, so we're not gonna look at that. <laughs> we have a cloth for the lens. Um, we, of course, have the manual guide, which this one is also in another language, but this is also a very popular lens that I've seen, so I'm sure I could find some directions on like, oh, guys, please excuse me. The, this side is English, the other side is other language. Ignore me, y'all. Okay, so now it's time to get into the actual lens. Okay, so let's see what it's looking like. I'm super excited because this means I get to actually record content for you guys in better quality than my stinking phone. Oh my gosh. And if you guys are waiting for content with Little Nightmares, I have a Little Nightmares video coming out for you guys with the gameplay. And I was trying to record for you guys on my phone, but my phone was running out of storage. And I was like, I need my lens ASAP right now. <laughs> so here it is it's got a good weight to it this is what we're looking oh let me not break stuff this is what we're looking like as far as the lens it's got a good weight to it this is what it's looking like compared to the size of my head <laughs> and then this is the other cap that goes on okay and then this is the shield for the light all right, let me not break it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the camera and see what we're looking back and then I'll come back to you guys. Alrighty, so this is what we're looking like. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I literally almost dropped this the second I put it on here. It adds a little bit more weight on here. So definitely be mindful of that when you're putting your lenses on your cameras. So this is what we're looking like. Okay, and then we can go ahead and actually take this off. And there we go, there's the lens. Let me go ahead and turn the camera on. So let me not show my business, but here's what we got going on. And then you guys can see me. And look at just look at how much better that quality is compared to what you guys are seeing now. Like you guys can see it in camera, what it's looking like, the difference in quality already. So I can't wait to show you guys video on this. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through the manual a little bit because they do have different rings on this lens that mean different things for you guys. So if you're newer to getting a camera and understanding the lenses, we'll go ahead and get into a few things that'll help you out with getting started. All right. So this is what we have on the lens. So on this top part, I called it a shield earlier, but this is actually called a lens hood. So this helps when you have different lighting, making sure that there's no glare coming onto the camera, if I remember correctly. Um, and then let's see, the next part that we have is the focus ring. So that's right here. This is to help you focus in and focus out. And then the next one we have is the focusing scale. 
Now, I'm not sure about the numbers on the scales and all that because I'm still new to this as well. But I think this helps you understand what area you're at, what settings you're at, so that you know what to go back to. Okay. And then the next one we have is the depth of field scale. So this is the depth of field scale right here, these numbers. Okay. And this is what goes to this ring right here which is your aperture ring, all right? And then the last part, of course, this is not the lens mount right here. This covers this part of the lens, but then this part is your lens mount, which as I told you guys before, goes directly into this part right here, which to help you guys, if you're lining it up, there's this little red dot here, which corresponds to this white dot. So you know exactly which way to put on the lens and it has this button on here um, to help take it in and out, but you just turn it counterclockwise and then you'll hear it lock right in. So this is the Brighton Star ultra wide camera lens and I'm super excited to be shooting content with you guys for this. I'm going to be trying to finish my little nightmares gameplay for you guys with this camera now that I have my lens. Um, but just be on the lookout if you're wanting to see what this looks like with everything in full effect. Uh, my next videos will definitely be using this. So I'm super excited to show you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video.